everyone, this is Robin. Welcome to MyPinkStamper.com. I hope you are having a wonderful spring day. It is beautiful here in Utah. It's still a little chilly, but the sun is at least out today and some of the snow is melted. So I am going to pop in with a bright and happy card for you today. Bring a little sunshine to those of you who still have the very cold weather. So I hope this project helps. I'm going to be casing from the catalog or copying from the catalog today. One of the biggest questions or many questions I get asked are how to recreate one of the cards in our catalog. So today I'm going to be sharing this beautiful card. I picked this bright and happy card and simple card to make using our varied vases bundle. And I am just going to recreate this. I'm going to show you how they did it and put it together for you. So we're going to go ahead and start. Let me first of all share the varied vases stamp set and the vases builder punch. These coordinate together. There's also a stamp set in our new occasions catalog that coordinates with the vases builder punch as well. I'll have that on the screen for you to see. And we're going to be using that. And we are using the dot to dot embossing folder. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I will have all of the item codes with the item on my screen. It'll also be at the very end of this video. And if you missed all that, it will be in the description of this video below. If you're watching this from my blog, it's also in this blog post. I have it everywhere. I don't want you to miss out on any of the items or sizes that I've used for these, for this card. And I figured it all out by looking at the picture, um, what I think the sizes are going to be. So let's start with our stamping first. And the two places we're going to be stamping is, is on this piece of Whisper White cardstock. That is cut at two and three quarters by three and a half inches. And we will stamp a little bit on this and we're gonna stamp on this. This is just a scrap piece of Whisper White paper that I have. And we'll go ahead and stamp on that as well. We're using, the first color we're going to use is Coastal Cabana. And the stamp we're going to use for the Coastal Cabana is just this vase right here. I'm not going to use any of the other parts of that stamp. It's a two or three step stamp, so you can have an outline for it. You can do an outline for it if you'd like. It's probably super loud. Okay, this is one of our photopolymer stamp sets. And I should have had this already on a block, huh? I haven't even tried this, so I'm hoping my guesstimate is correct, but I think, think I'm pretty close. So what you do when you're using one of our punches, especially if it has multiple items, first of all, I see which direction the item that I want is going to face. So when I'm stamping this, I'll want to stamp this face upside down because this is upside down when I'm punching it. So I'll go ahead and ink this up. Did I already say I'm using Coastal Cabana ink? I can't remember. I'm gonna stamp that right here close to the end, the edge. And I think that's all I need the Coastal Cabana for. And I'm gonna go ahead and just punch that out. Maybe a little bit of waste on here. Okay, oh, it didn't land in the hand. Landed on the floor. Okay, there we go. You can put those in your scrap or recycle box. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use Flirty Flamingo ink. And I'm going to take, first I want to see where this punch is. Okay, this is kind of off to the side, so I'm going to kind of, I'm going to have one here, and then I'm going to have one over here, because we are doing this twice, and we're using the tulip, the tulip with the tulip outline. So I'll find the tulip. And then I have, this is a very large stamp set. There's lots of little stamps in there. I grabbed a couple of our blocks. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and let's see which direction this is facing up. I'm going to have the outline right here, just be on the side. And this one's gonna be right here. That should be plenty of room, hopefully. And now I'm going to take the solid part and I'm going to just stamp it off somewhere. So I utilized my scraps and then I'm going to stamp it on here. It gives me a little bit of a lighter color. It's a really nice way to 
utilize your ink pads. They can go a little bit longer or further. You have more colors you can create with them. Okay, I need Flirty Flamingo in just a minute. All right, let's go ahead and punch these out. Let's start with this one first. Ooh, almost lost that one, but I didn't. And then I'm going to do this one right here. Okay. And now we'll go ahead and we have one more item that we're going to stamp and punch. All right. The last color that we are using is Lemon Lime Twist Ink Pad. This is only available until the end of May. So if you love it, now is the time to get it. So for this one, we are going to be using the inside of the leaf, the outline of the leaf, this long leaf, and then we're gonna use this stem. I'm sorry, it's so loud. All right, so I'm gonna grab some blocks really quick. Throw that on there and throw this on here. Okay, so now I'm going to look and see which way. So the leaf is going, where's the outline? It's going this way. I'm gonna pull off this side over here. I only need one of these and, okay, it goes this way. So I just, I have to remember that. So I'm gonna stamp the outline right here. And now I'm going to take the solid what part and I'm going to stamp it off first and then I'm going to use the lighter color on the inside. There we go. And now I have a little bit of shading without having to color. Okay. So now we're going to be stamping on, let's set this aside. We don't need that anymore. We're going to be stamping on this piece here and I'm looking off of the picture in the catalog. This is about right here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this stem and I'm using this kind of as a template, but I'm going to move it. So this is going to be like up here. And then I'm going to do one a little bit shorter, not much, just a little bit. I have to just make sure that this vase covers it up and it will. Perfect. Okay. We've got that out of there. And now I'm gonna go ahead and open up my Flirty Flamingo and I'm gonna take the sentiment, hello. And this is going to go right here. And I might have made this a little bit too long. I can cut off a little. I might cut off a quarter inch of each of these. We will see. And I have this cut at three and a half. I'm gonna cut it at three and a quarter. I think that's a little bit better. And then it's going to be layered on a piece of our powder pink cardstock. And this was cut at three by three and three quarters, but I'm going to make it three by three and a half. I'm gonna cut that. Oh, <laughs> oops. Let me do that again. All right, three by three and three quarters, but I'm gonna make it three and a half. Is that better? Yes, much better. That should be able to layer on here perfectly. All right. So now let's go ahead and kind of figure out where everything is going to be. So this vase is going to be right here. They have in the picture the leaf coming out like this. All right, and now I'm gonna go ahead and take one dimensional, Stampin' Dimensional, put it right here on my vase. I'm gonna put that on here. So it's all coming out of there. Can I do it? There we go. Perfect enough. <laughs> now I'm going to use some of our mini dimensionals. If I can find them. These are mini dimensionals and they are perfect for these cute little tulips. Look at that. So now this tulip's gonna go like that. Do I have it good enough so you can't see the sand? Yes. And then I'm gonna have this one be up like this. All right, super cute. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take our snail adhesive and I'm gonna put this on here. Actually, not yet. I'm not gonna do that yet. 
It looks like they have the white polka dot ribbon and they have it so it's kind of crisscrossing. I'm gonna use some of my, well, or you can just, we'll do this. We'll add a little bit of adhesive. We'll just use a little adhesive down there. I'm going to have this, it looks like it's kind of going off like that. And then they, whoops, does it not want to stick on that? Does it? You should stick on there. Everybody's doing it. And then I'm going to have it loop around like this. And it's going to come up here and then it's going to loop back around. Hopefully I have enough of this. And I'm going to have it come off here. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and put this directly on here. And this will kind of look like they have the picture, hopefully. Yay, it does. And now we are going to take this piece of lemon lime twist cardstock and I'm gonna run it through the big shot using, let me get some of these things out of the way. I'm using the dot to dot embossing folder. Here is the Stampin' Up Big Shot. Lovely, lovely, love it, love it. And I have the two standard cutting pads and I'm gonna stick this, it looks like they have it portrait, which is this way. But this is four and a quarter by five and a half. And when you're looking at the card in the catalog, it looks like they embossed the whole card front. But typically you don't run them through like that because then it gets all warpy. You want it, this will go directly on the card base. I'll show you how to do that. I'll run this through here. If you have never tried the Big Shot or you've never dry embossed, you're gonna wanna give it a try. It's amazing. It turns a flat piece of cardstock into a textured background. Ready? Ta-da! Isn't that fun? Now I'm going to take adhesive and I'm gonna put it all over the whole entire bot, uh, all around the sides and a little in the center. And now I'm gonna put that on the side. I'm gonna take a piece of our same lemon lime toast cardstock. This is cut at five and a half by eight and a half. I'm gonna fold this over using our bone folder. Ta-da. And now I'm going to take this, and this should fit on here nice and flush. I made sure that they were the same size. So there, so there, so there I have it on there. I'm getting sassy, aren't I? And now I'm gonna take this, turn this over, grab some regular dimensionals. If you have our foam adhesive strips, they are great for something this size. You can just, whoop, you know put them on there. I didn't have them available next to me just now. Take the backings off and that one's on there for good luck. And then we're going to turn this around and they have it on here like this. So pretty. And now for their final touch, they have some of the glimmer or glitter enamel dots and they're using the coastal and it looks like they have, I'm gonna use the second size. I'm gonna put one over here and I'm gonna have one, they have one off, which is kind of fun, just on here. And then I'm gonna use the smallest size and then put that one over here. And now I have copied the catalog successfully. And guess what, you can do it too. If there's a certain project you would like to see uh, me make, from one of our catalogs, please post it below in the comment section. Here is my case catalog. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the little notification bell so you'll be notified when I have a new video. And you can always find me directly on my website, mypinkstamper.com. Have a great day, bye-bye.